In this video, I challenge myself to become my vision board. We're already halfway through the year and I want to make sure that I'm still prioritizing my 2023 goals and becoming the woman I dreamed of in January. So exciting, right? Am I right? Am I right? It's very exciting. This ice roller is fucking freezing. Do you hear? I love my ice roller. So the plan for today, you guys, is to become my vision board. As you guys know, my life has completely changed and took a turn that I was just not expecting for this year. But 2023 has honestly showed me that no matter what happens to me, I still will come out being exactly who I need to be and nothing can stop me. And I would hate for January me to see what has happened to me and see me give up. I want January 2023 me to be like, wow, that bitch went through a lot, but she came out even better than what we expected. So what we're doing is we're gonna take a look at our vision board and make sure that we're still applying those things that we plan for ourselves to not just forget. Cause honestly, even outside of my life changing completely, it's just around that time, it's the middle of the year, mid year check-in. We're gonna make sure that we are still trying to head towards our goals. Cause January us really believed in ourselves. This is for everyone out there, everyone watching and really saw a potential in you. And I think you owe it to them to reevaluate, see where you could improve, where some things may have been just a little too extreme to try to <laughs> place on yourself or see where hmm, maybe I was slacking a little bit on that. Maybe now was the time to get back on that. And in six months, change our lives. I mean, you guys, this year is flying by. Like how the frick are we already in July? I don't get it. I don't know if you guys get it. Are y'all freaking out? Because I'm freaking out. <laughs> but wait. Of all the things that I lost, I made sure that I did not lose this. It's a little dusty. That's so embarrassing. Okay, this is my 2023 vision board. Can you guys see? Okay. I made this end of 2022. I have this as the lock screen on my laptop. So even though I had this rolled away, I see this every time I get on my computer. I'm gonna pick out a few things from here and try to embody it. So first of all, I feel like I just need to get out of these PJs, right? So let me put on something that's kind of cute. Okay, <laughs> is this a little extreme for the morning? Yes, but one thing I've noticed that I need to incorporate more is playing dress up. Like, if you just have the time to put on something and just be able to see yourself in a certain way, just freaking do it. Just a few days ago, I literally did my makeup at midnight just to take it back off. I didn't go anywhere, I didn't do anything. I just took a few cute pictures, made a few TikToks. Myself looked really pretty, took my makeup off and called it a night. So I'm just having to remind myself that it's okay to play dress up. It's okay to put something on just to take it back off. But yes, this is the Aritzia jumpsuit. I'm obsessed with her. She is so comfortable and so cute. This is a heart choker. It's one of those type of aesthetics that I always see on Pinterest. Let me go ahead and take some selfies with my ice roller. If there's no photos of it, then it didn't happen. Okay, I think we pretty much ice rolled our face really good. Okay, so I guess the next on the agenda, because on my vision board, they're wearing like comfy workout kind of fitness clothes and they're being active. So I should probably do some yoga. Yeah, we're gonna do some yoga. Okay, let's do some yoga. Vision board is checked off. So exciting! Ooh, 
Okay, so now I think it's time I take a shower. So I did just make a little sweat. Just a little, just a little damp. I need to do my skincare, and body care and everything. So go ahead and take a shower. And I guess that would be this portion of the vision board. Taking care of my skin and my body. I love showers. I love skincare, showers, and just taking care of my body. And I always have an amazing time in the shower. So I'm excited. Let's go do that. Now I'm back from a shower. I feel good. Now I'm gonna do some skincare. If you guys just watched my most recent video, you guys will have seen that I kind of gave my room like a makeover a little bit. So I got a skincare organizer so that it wasn't all just sitting in just that corner. It's pretty nice. I really enjoy it. Remember when I got this in my, what vlog was that? Was that in my becoming a full-time content creator vlog? I think so. She come in handy. Now we did our skincare. Now time for body care, which is gonna be over there to our other station. Over here is where I have all my body care. Here with my workout things. I love this little section. It's so cute. So yeah. Okay, now that the body and the skin is all taken care of before I head out, I wanna do something that I haven't done in a very long time, and that is journal. Can't believe I have not journaled since I left Florida. <sighs> It's honestly really sad because when I moved, I just threw everything in my trunk and dipped. <gasps> and dipped and oof, looking back at this, gonna make me sad a little. So this is probably exactly what I need to do. So I'm gonna journal uh, and I'll make me some chlorophyll water. Healthy vibes. <laughs> you guys all know the benefits of chlorophyll. They say that it kind of like detoxes you from the inside out. It helps improve body smell. It helps with your skin. It'll help you not have to use deodorant as much, I heard. It has a lot of benefits, but it's kind of good because it's like minty and I like mint, so. Oof, you guys, this is about to be tough. I have not talked to the universe in a really long time. I don't know, I guess. I don't even know how to start. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. Okay, let me just stop being dramatic and I just finished journaling. It was much, much, much needed. I hadn't done that in a while, but we are on to the thing because now we have journal and we are moving towards better times. But now I think I wanna head out the house. I've gotten dressed, I'm fresh and I'm clean. I think I wanna go out and enjoy life a little bit. Interestingly enough, you guys, I have never, well before, prior, I had never tried matcha before until like two weeks ago. And the first matcha I tried was a matcha latte from Starbucks with sweet cream, cold foam, white mocha, and caramel drizzle. It was very dressed up and I liked it pretty much. And I was like, I wonder what it would taste like if I actually got real matcha, like something that wasn't from Starbucks and that was like an actual matcha. So I went to a ramen spot. They had a matcha milk tea. I was a little nervous about trying matcha because I know Galen said it tasted like dirt, but I just heard a lot of people say it tasted like dirt. But I'm like, honestly, I'm kind of, I was gonna say a dirty girl, but that, that doesn't even sound right. But I don't know, like I've kind of trained my taste buds to enjoy more like earthy type of flavor. So I'm like, I feel like I'm mature enough to actually like it. I tried it and y'all, when I first took the first sip, I literally felt it like, go up to my eyes and my brain and it immediately gave me like a hit of dopamine and I was just like this is the best thing I've ever had in my entire life and now I want to go back but that place is like 20 minutes away and I, it'll be 20 minutes there 20 minutes back I don't do that so there's this new boba kind of place that's right around the corner their drinks look pretty cool so that's what we're gonna go do this is my outfit 
have on some flare leggings. And I have on this top that I got from Shop Cider. I feel like we didn't get enough of this necklace, so let's put her back on. Oh my god, that's kind of hot. Okay, so let's go ahead and head out. Go grab us some matcha. Oh, I'm excited. Alrighty, let's head out. tried this new spot and it was actually really good the vibes in there were amazing it wasn't a lot of people in there so just my kind of vibe it was so funny because they were playing one of the songs from teen beach movie which i haven't heard in forever that was kind of fun to hear but i finished my drink it was so yummy can't believe i drink matcha now this is like my third matcha within the span of 14 days 14 divided by three 14 divided by two is seven so divided by three It'd be around five. <laughs> so every five days i guess but Yummy, so good. But now I'm just gonna ride around, chill in my car, maybe drive around, enjoy the scenery, get out the house some, cause sometimes I'm such a homebody and I literally just stay in my room, watch YouTube, watch Netflix, scroll on my phone. So I think I just wanna ride out, see some humans. <laughs> but yeah, and I will update you guys later. Hi you guys. So we are back from enjoying life. Came back home. Now I'm dressed for tennis. I'm about to go play. It's gonna be super fun. Checking off the fitness part of my vision board. Today's going pretty good so far. I'm pretty excited. And now we're gonna crack open a Celsius for some energy. I like to go back and forth from Oxy Shred and Celsius every once in a while. And this is the Kiwi Guava flavor. Cheers. I think I'm ready to go. tennis that was super fun i have a face mask on i'm about to get in the shower but today was fun today was really fun actually if i could live like this almost every other day i think i will definitely be a better person by the beginning of 2024 i don't know but it's cool that i'm already that person i was able to be that person already so that's pretty cool but i just want to end this video off by saying a few affirmations that are on my vision board it says i don't chase i attract I will only get prettier and richer. I always win. A very blessed girl. Clear skin, good health, more money, peace of mind, consistency, and everything I want wants me to. So thank you guys so much for watching. This video was so fun. I had so much fun doing this. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.